Hello friends, welcome to Center Spot. Friends, whether it's multinational company or a small shop or a government company or even a private company, a school or a college or any institution for example, there are some common features. Yes, it is accepted there are hell lot of differences on the basis of field in which they are working. But still, there are some basic similarities in the day-to-day -day functioning of that company or an institution and there are some commonalities in the management and administration of that company. So uh, the thing is that I have spent some years as a staff, I have worked as a staff for some years and some years I have spent as a boss in the same institution. So. I know uh, the, how the things work on both sides of the table. So on the basis of which I'm going to tell you some important uh, and easy tricks to survive, to, to remain consistent, to sustain in your office and not just that but to even become successful within your company. So to begin with, I think we should focus on how to demand a leave successfully because see it's a challenge for every person every gentleman and every lady for them it's a challenge to work in in, a, in any company see it's not so important where are you working not in terms of money okay in terms of money it's it, it makes a difference a huge difference if you are working in a the great brand in one of the few multinational companies it is totally different on various uh, standards uh, and it's completely different if you are working in a small company compared to that uh, major brand but here what I'm saying is completely different I'm not talking about the brand or the importance of that company no I'm talking about the pressures the person is facing and experiencing within any company within any institution within any structure of administration whether it's small or big in this city or that city doesn't matter whether it is private or government doesn't matter but the pressures are there the experience and the stress which the person observes that is there and that is permanent that is constant Okay, and so on the basis of that, the important thing that each and every staff experiences in his or her life, and the and, and, and let me tell you, it is a big, big, big challenge for each and every individual who has worked at least one day in his life. And the challenge is how to ask, how to request for a leave. To your boss okay how to demand it it's not so easy meaning one might tell you that just pick a pen pick a paper write a interesting and eloquent kind of uh, uh, request for leave letter present it to your boss and pray that uh, the boss will give you, will accept you, will give the green signal on that very instant. But no, things do not happen like that. Uh, most of the times, the any boss at any level in any given administration gives a huge, huge lecture to the person who is demanding the leave. Not only just lecture, but most of the times, Possibilities are that the boss might ridicule you in front of whole office. The boss might make an example out of you. He might, he not just he he will not just accept your uh, request for leave, but in fact he will give you hell lot of burden of lots of work, which probably otherwise you wouldn't have got that much work. So he'll make a kind of example out of you. 
it all depends okay there are lots of probabilities there are n number of variables and most of the times it's certain aspects in certain point of time uh, the person who is doing the job loses a focus he doesn't understand if he applies some common uh, sense he will definitely get the due uh, leave that he deserves first of all a leave is not a right of the person who is working a leave is not a right of the staff okay but to request a leave but to request for a leave is a right definitely definitely to request for a leave is the right of that staff now whether to accept that request or not is the prerogative of the boss boss will determine whether to accept the leave or not so let's um, clear these things in our mind now what are the ways to demand your leave just as i have told you it's not so easy like like to pick a pen and to pick a paper and write a request letter no it's not like that you have to be skillful first and foremost you have to come out of yourself you have to think from the uh, perspective of a boss for once try to look at the things from your boss's view from your boss's perspective look at the world from his eyes his or her eyes then you will understand the problems that you are facing and the problems that he is facing or he will face because of your leave okay because of your your absence in the office so first and foremost you have to look at your your own track record your own previous history regarding the leaves how many times you were present in office were you punctual enough have you followed your uh, reporting time were you punctual about your reporting time have you remained absent for lots of lots of days so in that sense you have to examine your own track record okay if your track record is good if your track record proves that you were more than uh, present you were more than present in that office you have worked hard you reported on time or even few minutes before the reporting time you were present there in the office so it it proves your metal it it it, uh, it uh, gives more weight to your character okay so in that sense if your track record is not good then my advice is first of all before requesting for a leave if your track record is not good try to improve your track record over the time and then demand for a leave okay so that's my first suggestion secondly why do you want to leave that is the basic thing is it undue advantage is your reason quite substantial or is it fake can anybody trust on your reasoning meaning whatever reason that you are going to give to the boss try to understand that boss might accept your request of leave but once you are absent from the office on that said day the boss might verify the reason from various sources you may suppose you may conclude that oh the boss is also a human being he will not find the reason at all whatever the reason i tell him blah 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 reason he'll just have to believe that uh, that whatever i have told him that's it he'll just have to give me the permission of leave he'll not check or even if he tries to verify the reasons that i have given 
he will fail okay so this is a wishful thinking try to question your own sense try to question your own wishful thinking meaning uh, ask yourself that what if my boss finds out the real reason what if my boss finds out that whatever i have told that told him was completely wrong was completely false i just made up the thing so you have to be 100% sure that whatever you have told your boss was completely truthful so this is the important thing you have to underline this you have to be sure with yourself about the reasons of your leave okay and naturally based on that reason you have to question yourself that is this leave essential is the leave necessary you have to ask this question yourself don't wait for the boss to question you okay question yourself is this leave really necessary or can this leave wait for some time for few days of course if the reason is solid if reason is very very essential if it is very very crucial where your presence is important then definitely you shouldn't wait okay then you shouldn't question yourself at all if the reasons are justifiable but if but if the things can wait then just try to avoid request of leave now the third thing how many days leave you are requesting is the leave for one day or two days or three days or a week long leave you want how many days you are demanding about that you have to be sure about that you have to be a kind of a judge of your own you have to apply a logic and reason your uh, demand your request uh, regarding the quantity of that leave should not override the logic meaning you shouldn't lose the rationality uh, so you have to keep that thing in your mind next is the responsibility sharing plan now what is responsibility sharing plan you have to understand that uh, when you will be absent from office during the um, whatever duration you have uh, written in that request letter and whatever the duration that has been accepted and permitted by your boss let us suppose you are two days or three days let's say three days leave uh, granted on you so during those three days whatever work you would have done if you were there in the office that whole work will remain as it is the work will not be done the work will remain pending okay in natural course the work will stay as it is and the work will pile up and so naturally once you uh, join again the office after ending your leave you will have a pile of work pile of pending work plus the current work also so naturally it will be painstaking for you it will be painstaking for office also so not just don't just look in your in your perspective only try to look at the things from uh, uh, like a big picture take a uh, take a look at your whole office try to grasp the things in the whole office so depending on your role whatever role you perform in your office uh whatever respond responsibilities that you have that you have to perform every day make sure that the office will not collapse because of your absence 
make sure that there will not be any kind of chaos or panic just because you are not there in the office so try to make a distinction between between the total of your responsibilities try to figure out your those functions that can be shared by some other colleagues and try to figure out those functions your functions which can stay behind which nobody will do only exclusively you will perform those actions once you join the office okay but try to figure out those functions which can be shared or which can be transferred to other colleagues for the period when you are not there in the office so that uh, things will move on so that the office will remain in function uh, and office will not experience your absence at all things will continue as it is okay so for that you have to find out a perfect guy or a lady whoever might be so try to figure out a good colleague on which on whom you can rely either one colleague if that one colleague is sufficient then no problems if you will if you require more than one colleagues then definitely uh, you have to you have to work in that direction and once you are satisfied that either one colleague or more than one colleagues uh, are ready to accept your responsibilities your functions then you can uh, be quite sure about getting your leave sanctioned so that that is called responsibility sharing plan and then the next stage is you will uh, you will experience or your next question will be that how to convince a colleague how to convince him or her that see uh, here is my difficulty i have to uh, demand a leave i'll not be here for 3 days in the office and so the functions the the things should go on uh and how can i do that if i'll not be here so i'm requesting you my colleague that uh please can you do this work for me so while convincing uh the colleague regarding your responsibilities to be shared uh it will be very very difficult because see the colleague will also think from his own perspective he'll try to figure out things he'll try to judge you whether i should ac- uh, accept whether i should agree to this offer or not so the convincing thing will take some time definitely and for that you have to do uh, one or two things first of all uh, here one thing will be taken into account by that colleague is how is your overall behavior with uh, him or her and in general in office how do you behave that thing will be taken into account and into consideration a lot that determines uh, your character if your character is good if your behavior is in general good and in particular with that colleague if you are behaving properly uh, then the chances are bright in that case the colleague will agree to your offer secondly he he or she might think that what are the gains why should i agree to this offer why should i share your responsibilities so in that case you have to convince that person that colleague that see there will be time when you will require uh this kind of uh responsibility sharing just as i am experiencing the need to share my responsibilities with you there might be a time in your case also that when you will feel that your responsibilities should also be shared you will face a necessity of demanding a leave and at that juncture if you convince me i will be there for you i will take i will share your responsibilities and i will help you when you will be in your need 
okay so i'll be there for you that kind of offer that kind of uh, lucrative thing you will be offering to that colleague and so definitely in such cases most of the times colleagues do help each other okay so that goes like that in certain cases if the colleague is uh, of different mind then you have to offer him or her uh, certain other things such as uh, giving a treat in a good restaurant maybe or to agree to show him or her a nice movie of her, his or her liking etc 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 there are n number of things that you can uh, the the way you can borrow uh, the uh, help of your colleague so this was the things how to convince uh, your colleague and then the last part is wait for the right opportune moment and what's that see look at the mood of the boss what you have to do is you have to observe the body language of your own boss you have to apply your common sense also here your common sense will play a crucial role you have to be observant you have to look at the things carefully and when you will feel that your boss's mood is quite cool then at that perfect and right opportune moment you have to propose your request of your leave tactfully okay you have to propose it tactfully with presenting alternative plan also what is alternative plan the plan i have just mentioned responsibility sharing plan okay so you have to present that alternative plan also so that the office work will not get affected okay so this is waiting for the right opportune moment and then the last part last phase is that uh you have to assume uh, you have to be assure him you have to assure him that whatever exclusive pending work will pile i will complete it even if i have to work a bit longer you have to assure him you have to give some assurance that i will go extra mile i'll do some extra work extra task to finish the piling work which will be inevitable so all in all the boss will not mind accepting your demand for leave in this case because he or she will be confident enough that even if you are not in the office the office will run smoothly there will not be any trouble at all because somebody is going to perform your duty in your absence so the boss will be relieved and the boss will gladly grant you a leave understood so don't propose your demand or the request of leave when your boss is groggy when your boss is frustrated when your boss himself is in stress don't approach your boss uh, to demand the leave when he is going to start a meeting a crucial meeting if or when he himself has got some bad news in such cases try to avoid raising this leave issue because the chances will be bleak so uh if you follow these steps that, uh, that just now i have uh, told you if you follow those steps carefully and if you do all this uh, uh back work uh, rigorously then definitely your chances of getting green signal to the request of leave uh are bright definitely you will get the signal you will get the green signal so uh this was the first and foremost issue of resolving the issue of uh getting your leave sanctioned but this is not the last definitely i'll focus certain other issues also because in any office there are hell lot of issues hell lot of problems 
and don't forget that there is stress also so we will focus the stress fact, uh, factor essentially in our forthcoming episodes so till the next episode uh, i'm gladly uh, bidding you with my goodbyes and enjoy and be uh, frank and be open to ask me any questions if you have regarding the problems that you face in your workplace feel free to ask such questions i'll try to uh, explain i'll try to figure out things uh, in most simple uh, words possible okay so all the very best and thank you for watching this video bye bye take care